Welcome back to A View from the Mic, and I'm feeling a little unsafe right now because I don't have my uh, Mike's pile with me, and I usually have that big box full of stuff, and I don't have it. Chet didn't bring it, so I'm not happy about that, but we'll, we'll manage. Uh, I want to talk today about, of course, not football, but we're going to talk about sports, of course. And this is an exciting season. We've got the uh, start of the NHL season coming up very soon. The, uh, we're in week three coming up for the uh, NFL. Baseball, we're approaching the playoffs in the World Series. Everybody's excited. Everybody's going nuts except me because I was thinking about something else we should be thinking about, and that is a sport that is played every day around the world by about 300 million people every day. And you need a hint? The first game we ever played after we put away shoots and ladders was this game. Another hint? It's in the basement or rec room of almost every house in America, or at least it was at one time. So, what's the name of that sport? It's called Gossima. It's also called Whiff Waff. But you never played those? Yes, you did. Because that game is what you know it to be is ping pong. Or, of course, the professionals like to call it table tennis. The major sports are rich in traditions. Heroes, names like Ty Cobb, Babe Ruth, Red Grange, Johnny Unitas, Wayne Gretzky, Bobby Hull, Michael Jordan, Bill Russell, those names will live forever. We all know who they are. But what about Roland Jacoby? In London back in 1926, Roland was the first world champion of men's singles table tennis. The same year, the first woman singles champ was Hungary's Maria Medjanatsky, who also won the next four. Ever hear of those names? In the 1950s, we played home run derby, saying things like, I'll be Mickey Mantle, and the other guy would say, I'll be Willie Mays. But what about pretending we were Ichiro Ogamura or Toshiaki Tanaka, who during that same era dominated the world ta table tennis scene. Today kids name major sports players, entire, entire starting lineups, stats, salaries, how many out of wedlock children they have, how many felonies they've committed. The kids know all of that. But do any of those kids know the names of reigning ping pong champions like Zhang Chao, Ding Ning, Ma Long, Zhu Jin, and Gu Yu. And even if they did, could they pronounce them? Perhaps it's time the table tennis to take center stage in the sports arena. Think of it. Less exposure to pampered, overpaid, unhappy, narcissistic, and ungrateful athletes. Reduced exposure to strikes, lockouts, drug scandals, brawls, and perp walks. Ping pong is also an absolute bargain for the fans. The players play for a fraction of the pay that major sports athletes do. For example, five-time men's singles world champion Ma Lin currently earns about $165,000 a year, playing a hectic full-time schedule on the ping pong tour. Compare that to White Sox Adam Dunn, who practically makes that per game. The entire annual purse of Sweden's table tennis tour is $1.6 million. Compare that to Adam Dunn, who earns that per home run. What does that mean to the average fan at the gate? The average ticket price for a seat in a Major League Baseball game is $25. The NBA, $50. The NHL, $60. And the NFL, $75. Just for a seat. No parking, no hot dogs, no program, no beers, which could be anywhere from $8 to $12, depending on where you are. You can get a seat at the recent U.S. Open Tennis Table Championship for $5 and a four-day pass, including the semis and finals, for 25. You will find the table tennis pros friendly, eager to sign autographs, and they'll chat with you, providing, of course, that you speak Mandarin Chinese. Why has a professional table tennis failed to catch on? Here is a few reasons that I can think of. It's too fast. The tiny white ball is a blur. The rallies are brief, usually two or three strokes in one second. Where in tennis, for example, a shot takes about a second, and a drop shot maybe two or three. It has no TV exposure, and if you can find it on TV, it's at 2 a.m. on some obscure channel. 
it's complicated with dozens of different spins and undetectable shots and it's uh, it's it's a blur you can't even tell what kind of uh, action is being put on the ball by the by the paddle and of course there's no american presence in the game it's all basically uh, asian players and there's no sex appeal unlike tennis's uh, heartthrob number one player rafa nadal the current ping pong world champs ma lin and wang ho are little short guys little shiny short guys the combination of tight shorts on a Peter Pan body won't cause many to swoon or put a poster up in their bedroom. Today, American ping pong is still basically a, ba a basement and rec room game played by drunk college guys whose car keys have been taken from them. But ping pong clubs are starting up all over the country and interest is growing at a rapid pace. Perhaps someday, the game will catch fire and maybe kids will face each other at the end either end of the ping pong table and say, I'll be Ogamura. And the other will say, I'll be Tanaka. This has been A View from the Mic.